class at 7 a.m. on Friday. Very far, but we're going to be starting now. I remind you our names. Um, my name is Karen, her name is Monica. And he's, uh, she's back. <laughs> and if you did it, I asked you to take a screenshot of it. Did any of you do the camera? Table and oranges. 
That is the one we have to In the example here, we have a variable. Now, the second step is make a list of similarities and differences. In this case, we have Arepa, it's very round, it's Colombian, or maybe Venezuela, I don't really know. Can be on a stove, can have cheese or ingredients smoothed in it. And you need to make a And for that, we have, looks like a half moon, it's Colombian, it's only good by with oil, also can have ingredients and eat cheese, and I'm getting as well. So, in the meal, or in the intersection, it's what they share. They both have given a candle, they can have several ingredients inside them, and they are both Colombian. And outside the intersection, you have all the differences. Very round, can make it in a stove, or normally cooked with oil and looks like a half moon. So that's the way how we create a ring diagram. I'm going to ask you to take maybe three minutes to create a ring diagram. So if you can use the same similarities that we have already reviewed and add your own differences, all right? If you have any questions, please let us know. Go! <laughs> okay, which one do you want? 
Un ones are really like this. I'm doing one. That's what's cool. <laughs> the difference is now we have, <laughs> we have green lantern. What's your name? Catalina is having green lantern. And what? Juan is going to be Anna. Please hold this. You hold this with your hands. And ah, yes. So good. The activity is pretty simple, guys. He's going to be set B. Remember the parts of the diagram? He said B. She said A. This little part here is the intersection, the things they share. This is green lantern traits, and that's and lantern traits. Alright? So then we're gonna do is who had green lantern traits? Number three, right? Can you maybe by any chance come up to the front and put on the bucket? Thank you so much. So now we have our human Venn diagram right here. If he's a set, I'm going to give an example. Ant Man set. That's the name of the Venn diagram part. It will be whole Juan's body, including his heart. Alright? Remember that these two arms and the hands represent an intersection. So a set will be the full extent of Juan's body, as well as the full extent of Kato's body. Alright? Union. What will be the union? You, what will be the union? Please? All of it. Then Good. We have full sentence with both. Complement is either what Catalina has in her hand or what both Catalina and Juan have in their hands. Exactly. So it will be everything on the set, including this, because this is something she has. You see, she has an arm. So that's not the complement. And the real complement is the other way around. Everything on one set, but not on the other set. So if you were to find the other bodies, what would you do? Right arm. Sorry? Right arm. 
hair right now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Please don't leave yet. We're gonna be a meeting, but yeah. I pray to you, Ant-Man can become smaller or bigger. He yeah. can fly. Can you please read them? Do they class? Hey.
have a different Venn diagram that your own, the Venn diagram of partner of yours. Yes. What we're gonna do now is that you have to write down at least five sentences analyzing that diagram. Using what? The Venn diagram parts, for example. Set A is well, composed of form by the intersection between these two sets has, the relative complement is, three sets has, the relative complement is that you can use either the vendor parts or these expressions. Neither nor, both, and either or. Do you know how to use these expressions? For example, neither nor. What is it for? Neither. Yeah. <laughs> 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 not the other one. Not, not, mm -hmm. not exactly. We'll have two options. None of them. Like this. On the on the You are neither human nor animal. You are not human, and you are not animal. From the two options that you're given, you are none of them. Okay? Both. Who can tell me how to use both? We used it before when we were describing the mm -hmm. Do you remember? Yeah, so, I, I told you about the both. Can you maybe please explain what you understood about it? Uh, the two things are shared the same characteristics. The two things share the same characteristics are the two options. Okay, both. Right? So his parents said both him and Minion. So Mega Mind was said and Minion was said. Both. Finally, either or. Uh, can you maybe tell me about either or? Like a choice. Yeah, Correct. So it's a choice. If this is none, this is the two, this is one or the other. You see? So this is none, this is and. And this is or. So either attention or praise, everything was given to metro. Okay? So you can use the Venn diagram parts or these three expressions to analyze your partner's Venn diagram. Okay? So you have, let's say, 10 minutes? You have 10 minutes to create those sentences. And then we're going to read them out to the class, so you don't have to write them down in a different piece of paper. Minus one, minus two. All right, guys, thank you. So, in this slide, you didn't finish the sentences. All we're going to do is socialize them out loud to check the cognitive. So, can you please, one, I know you have the three of them. Each can read one, please. So, each of you guys read one of your sentences. Out loud. <laughs> Michael Andrew and Super Zero are both men. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Um, neither Super nor Mikey are Russian. Russian? Russian? Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, in the Venn diagram, we have the symmetric difference of sets have two oh. characteristics each. Oh, that sounds so uh, fancy. Just the correction is the symmetric uh, component of sets has. Because it's just one. It's singular. So that's the only thing. Okay, thank you. Can you read it has two or one? Three. Okay. Each read one and then the last one. Um, okay. 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 Michelangelo. Neither turtles nor Megamite are humans. Okay. And both Megamite and Supero are smart. Okay. Smart, so. We didn't use any of the sentences and we also didn't use any of the parts of the Venn diagram. We were trying to. All of them have dead relatives. Have, sorry? Dead relatives. <laughs> 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 
Uh, I need to. Thank you, guys. And you? Uh, the intersection between the sets A, B, and C has only one feature, and it is that they all have these special abilities. Whoa! Yes. Nice, okay. And yours? And Professor Super Pop is neither mutant nor super villain. Nice. Yes, that's correct. Very okay, nice. nice. All right, guys, thank you so much for participating in the activity. For the last thing, we're going to give you a homework to stay there. This is awesome. Yay! Like, yeah, but you didn't do the homework for today, so you're left with homework for next. Because only one person was able to say what book has name is, and that's very sad. <laughs> exactly. So, like, that's very sad. What kind of All right, so basically what we're going to be giving you all is these oh. infographics that have five other heroes. We have oh, Omni-Man oh, and their stars. It's that. A little bit of story about them. It's that. How fast they are, how strong they are. Some superpowers. A storm from the X-Men. We have King Possible. Yes. Um, we have Ben 10 or Ben Tennyson. And we have Kirby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you're gonna be sent these infographics to your email and you gotta do the same activity. Create a Venn choosing only three of them, and this time write five sentences about it using Venn parts or either neither. And both. Okay? So that was the end of the class, guys. Thank you so much for coming and please have a great day. Thank you.